you already know the definition of migraine you already know the types of migraine you already know the factors that precipitate migraine next is pathophysiology pathophysiology we have already taught you okay once i will repeat it but i already taught you so this is the uh, receptors of 5-HT you can see 5-HT serotonin there are five important although there are 14 uh, subtypes of the receptor but out of the 14 five are important which are written in front of you the receptors which are involved in migraine are 5-HT 1B 1D 5-HT it is one receptor type one in the one the subfamily is 5, 5-HT 1B 1D or 1D 1B however you write this receptor is involved in the causation of migraine because this receptor is present on cranial blood vessel this particular receptor learn the receptor this receptor is present on cranial blood vessels this particular receptor it is present on cranial blood vessel and when serotonin come 5-HT come bind with this receptor it leads to vasoconstriction of the cranial blood vessel okay and that can lead to the start of the migraine so this is the complete pathophysiology I will read it and then I will draw it again and we will see the drugs in the drugs some extra drugs are there okay which i have not taught you there so we will see complete treatment of the migraine so first pathophysiology we will revise just in two minutes so i told you many triggering event different people have different triggering event so whatever is the triggering event that can come without trigger migraine won't happen so trigger can be anger can be stress can be certain food can be weather change can be hormonal change can be light can be loss of meal can be access of sleep can be deprivation of sleep whatever is the trigger for that particular person that trigger causes release of 5-HT in the brain that 5-HT will go and bind with 5-HT 1B 1D receptor and that bind when the serotonin bind with this receptor it leads to vasoconstriction and it leads to start of the attack person have start of the attack okay but yet person don't have pain the attack have already started inside but yet pain is not there pain is not there pain is not there the start of the attack is due to vasoconstriction vasoconstriction is due to binding of 5-HT with this receptor because of the trigger whatever is the trigger trigger causing release of 5-HT that particular 5-HT in the brain is going and binding with this receptor on the pineal blood vessel that is leading to vasoconstriction that is start of the attack how many of you got it so this is the start of the attack okay now since the arteries are vasoconstricted there is cerebral ischemia so the blood, brain is not getting adequate blood cerebral ischemia okay cerebral ischemia is there now because of ischemia as a compensatory mechanism inflammation occurs in the blood vessel there is inflammation in that area because of the ischemia there is neurogenic inflammation because of the inflammation vasodilatation occur initially vasoconstriction occur and now vasodilatation occur vasodilatation occurs of arteries also vein also but shunts also so maximum vasodilatation occurs in the shunts and because the vasodilatation occurs in the shunts the blood further move from artery to vein in artery we have high pressure in vein we have low pressure so there is a shunt connecting the artery and vein av shunt okay so blood will move from high pressure to low pressure so blood will move from artery to vein so further there will be less blood in the artery initially the blood was less because of vasoconstriction so little bit ischemia but now the blood is again less even after vasodilatation there is further less blood because vasodilatation occurs of the shunts mainly shunts so far, further the blood will shunt into the veins and the artery will have more less blood so it will exaggerate the ischemia and that will cause the pain the spread of the pain everywhere initially it was at one point and now it is spreaded everywhere and now the pain occur so point is that the start of the attack occur because of vasoconstriction of the blood vessel but later on the pain spread everywhere because of vasodilatation please understand this first so if you want if there is a patient already in my clinic who already have the pain so patient already have vasodilatation of the shunt now if you want to treat this patient you have to do vasoconstriction okay so give a drug that causes vasoconstriction which drug causes vasoconstriction the main drugs which causes vasoconstriction either ergot i told you or triptans triptans are 5 ht 5 uh, HT uh, 1B 1D agonist you can see here 5 HT 1B 1D agonist these drugs okay the triptans they are causing vasoconstriction they are causing so these two drugs causes vasoconstriction I told you okay this is causing vasoconstriction because it is agonist as well as antagonist on this on alpha also ergot okay so it is causing vasoconstriction these are used in the treatment but if you want to prevent the attack you have to give a drug that causes vasodilatation even on exposure of the trigger so when the trigger is coming even on exposure of the trigger vasoconstriction do not occur vasodilatation occur so you have to give a drug that causes vasodilatation so you have to give the antagonist of this receptor 5-HT1B1D antagonist okay I have already explained you this 
so i guess the theory is clear give me a thumbs up anyone having any confusion in the theory so you can understand here like this so this is the brain this is the cranial blood vessel on the cranial blood vessel this is 5 ht 1b 1d receptor okay this is artery you can see this is artery so when the trigger is coming whatever is the trigger okay that trigger causes release of 5 ht in the brain that 5 ht will go bind with this receptor and causes vasoconstriction here since vasoconstriction is there this area will have ischemia only this area will have ischemia that is the start of attack the attack has started okay now because the attack have started as a compensatory mechanism in this area there will be inflammation because of ischemia there is inflammation whenever there is inflammation there is vasodilatation now vasodilatation occur of what vasodilatation don't occur of artery vasodilatation mainly occur of the shunt so this is artery this is vein and connecting artery vein this is the shunt you can see this is the shunt so here vasodilatation occurs of the shunt since vasodilatation occurs of the shunt the blood from the artery moves to the vein further blood in the artery will less initially blood in the artery was less because of vasoconstriction that was leading to ischemia in this area but now blood in the artery is much less because of shunting so ischemia will spread everywhere and that will lead to pain that will lead to pain so if you want to control pain you have to give a drug that causes vasoconstriction here give a constrictor drug and if you want to do prophylaxis here you have to give a drug that causes vasodilatation i mean don't start the attack so start of attack is caused by so this is the summary so vasoconstriction causes start of the attack if you want to prevent it you want to give prophylaxis give a drug that causes vasodilatation okay even on giving trigger that is 5 ht antagonist that is methicillin okay and vasodilatation okay of these um, blood vessels of the shunts that is responsible for the pain if you want to treat pain you have to give 5ht agonist that is sumatriptan or ergot okay so that is the thing hello everyone i hope you found this concept clear and easy to understand if you had like to dive deeper into this topic and master it with full length lectures you can subscribe my app that is medlife by dr priyanka so join me for the live sessions where we break down the complex topics in a way that makes them simple and high yield for exams see you inside Thank you.